Millie and Molly were busy planning and preparing for a very special occasion. They'd been looking forward to it for months. Here are the birthday candles. Wow! Yellow, stripy birthday candles. What kind of birthday cake will you have, Millie? Well, it has to be yellow and stripy. Yellow and stripy were Millie and Molly's special thing. A stripy tiger! Millie, does this give you any ideas? Yes, yes, yes! A yellow tiger cake! With black licorice stripes? Yay, Mum! Yes! Do you want to make some patty cakes? Can't have a birthday party without patty cakes. Stripy patty cakes. <laughs> and we'll play pin the tail on the donkey. Pin the tail on the zebra. Zebra! Oh, yes! <laughs> the zebra's a stripy! So who are you going to invite to your birthday party? You? <laughs> of course! And Poppy, and Sophie, and Tom, and Jack, because he's Tom's best friend, and Harry, and Alf. What about George? Because he plays with Harry. Yes, and Chloe, because she sits next to Poppy. And Elizabeth. Oh, and Humphrey. I can't leave him out, because he sometimes plays with Tom. Millie, that's the whole class. Oh, yes. Oh, no. What's wrong? How can I possibly get everything ready for such a big party? It's OK, Millie. I'll be helping you. It's going to be the best party ever. Molly was happy to help Millie with everything. Thank you. Pretty invitations. Molly helped me make them. I've never been invited to a birthday party before. And you can dress up in stripes if you like. Because Millie's party has a stripy theme. <laughs> hey, Millie, is Meg invited? The whole class is invited. Yay! Yay! Wow, oh, what oh, I love imagine the cake. Oh, What's it's for eight? As the day of the party drew closer, Molly put together the perfect stripy outfit. <laughs> while other party guests went shopping for the perfect stripy present. What about this one? Great! I like stripy pigs. Let's buy two. I like the zebra puppet. Me too. Ah, it wants to eat your fingers. <laughs> Everyone was counting down. Only 77 more hours till Millie's party. Woohoo! her stripy socks. Shh. She'll be here any minute. You don't want her to hear. <laughs> there was only one person who wasn't feeling excited about Millie's birthday party. And that was Millie. Mum, I'm dizzy. And Spotty. Spotty? It's chicken pox and it's contagious. So how long will Millie have to stay away from school? A few days. What's contagious? Oh, darling, other children can catch chicken pox from you. I'm afraid this means... I know. No party. I'm so sorry, darling. Mum, you'll catch it from me. Your dad and I have already had chicken pox, so we won't catch them again. The whole class was disappointed too. So no stripy party? Mm-mm. This was going to be oh. the first birthday party I ever went to. No. I won't get to eat yellow stripy tiger cake. Poor Millie. After all her plans, she'll be so upset. Oh. Feeling itchy today? A bit. But my head stopped aching. Oh, she's already recovering. But you're not your happy self, are you, Millie? Millie's missing her friends, aren't you, darling? Mm -hmm. Especially Molly. Of course you are. But you need to stay home until next week. Molly was on her way to Millie's to drop off all the Get Well Soon cards the class had made. Dr Smiley, how's Millie? She's definitely on the mend. And how are you, Molly? It's not fair that she can't have her birthday party. She and I had it all worked out. No wonder Millie's so sad. The whole class is sad. I've got a cure for that. You have? Millie can still have her birthday party. But she's got the chicken pox. 
as long as she doesn't get too close to her guests. You can run the party for her, Molly, seeing as you helped her plan it. Really? But that night, Molly's mood had changed. And I told Millie she could always count on me, but how can I get such a big party ready all by myself? Well, maybe you don't have to do it all by yourself. Maybe you've got friends you can count on. I could speak to the class tomorrow. See who'll help me. That's a terrific idea, Molly. And we can make it a surprise party for Millie. Better call Millie's mum and dad, uh, so it's not a surprise party for them, too. <laughs> Everyone wanted to help Molly organise the surprise birthday party for Millie. Now, it's tomorrow, so we have to work hard, and it's not a stripey party anymore. The day of the birthday came very quickly. Happy birthday, birthday Millie. Millie. I wish this was a happy birthday. But it's the saddest birthday of my whole life. But what Millie didn't know was that everyone was busily preparing for her surprise birthday party for later that afternoon. Molly and Poppy were making the birthday cake. We'll make it a leopard cake instead of a tiger. Elizabeth was making yellow icing. And Meg and Tom were icing patty cakes. Alf was whipping cream. And even Humphrey was helping out too, by licking the mixing spoons. When they were all finished with, of course. And Harry was making a pin the tail on the giraffe game. But there was still a lot to do. Meanwhile, George and Sophie were changing their stripy presents for ones that fitted the new party theme. Soon everyone raced home to get changed for the birthday party, while Molly and Poppy finished off the birthday cake. Tom Cat! Party's starting soon. We'll just have to call all the guests. Tell them the party's off. I'd better ring Millie's mum and dad first. What's Millie's number? Five, five, four. Wait! Look! Pieces are stuck together with icing. But it's still all smashed up. But we can stick more pieces together and turn it into some other kind of creature. Unaware of Molly's problems, everyone else had gathered to surprise Millie. <laughs> this is boring. When's the party? I'm hungry. We have to wait till Molly and Poppy get here with the cake. They should be here by now. So let's start the party without them. But the surprise party was all Molly's idea. Why don't you come outside and get some fresh air? Sorry, Dad, but I just want to stay here on the couch. What if she won't come out? Look, Millie, you'll never get better stuck inside. Come on. Let's see, Al. 
to be Millie's happiest birthday ever. She could always count on her good friends, especially Molly.